What's up and welcome to another MyCleverHouse.com video. We're going to learn how to connect Hue to Alexa in 2017 and we're going to do this as quickly as possible and as painlessly as possible. Here's a simple command to get started. Alexa, discover devices. Starting discovery. This can take up to 20 seconds. If you have Philips Hue, press the button on your bridge. Okay, so I have three Philips Hue bulbs and I push the button on my bridge. Discovery is complete. I found one smart home device. If your Philips bulbs were not discovered, please press the button on the bridge and rerun Discovery. Okay, so I have one Philips Hue bulb plugged in right here beside my Echo Dot. If we go into our Alexa app, and we go to Smart Home, we'll now see, here we can see there's three devices found, so we click that. We've got three Hue lamps and I've turned two of them off. So with that, Alexa should be able to control this bulb. Alexa, turn off Hue Color Lamp 2. Okay. So it's as simple as that. Now that Alexa has discovered these lamps, I can control them based on their names. So our Echo Dot did an excellent job at finding the lamps and then turning them on and off. You can name them exactly as they're labeled here in the app. However, if I don't want to call it Hue Color Lamp 2 forever, simply go to Smart Home again. And instead of devices, we're going to go to groups. We're going to create a group that I can name anything. And I'm just going to name it Living Room. And you're going to see here, I can group whatever lamps I want. I'm just going to select the one I've got right here on the counter with me and hit save. So now I've got one group called the living room. Okay, so let's see if we can control the living room. Alexa, turn on the living room. Okay. And with that, I can group whatever I want into the living room group. So if I wanted it to be lamps, or if I wanted it to be light strips, or any sort of smart device that I want to come on when I'm in the living room and I want them all to come on at the same time, you just do that here under your main menu, you go to Smart Home, and then after you've discovered your devices, you can group them together. It's really just that simple. And this will give you basic on-off settings and control. Um, you can also do dimming, so you can say, Alexa, dim the living room to 50%. Okay. Yeah, and you can see right there it got darker. Alexa, turn the living room lights blue. That command doesn't work on device living room. On that note, if you want to get specific colors, so you're going to want to set scenes here. Enable smart home skills to control devices. If you've already enabled your skill, discover devices below. So that means we're going to have to go get the Philips Hue skill next, okay? So we'll do that right now. To get the skill is very easy. You just come to the main menu, find skills, and we're going to go to Hue. Hopefully it pops up just like that. There it is. Boom. We're going to enable this. At this point, you can see it's going to want you to log in to a Hue account. You should have one, or you probably set one up whenever you got Hue, but if not, you can simply scroll down to create an account right here. All you'll have to do is enter your name, an email address, and create a password. This is the screen you'll see upon setting up your Hue account. Just got to press the big button in the middle. Now that you've pressed the button, you get greeted by Hue here. And you can hit continue. We'll say we trust this app. And it's logged us in. Now we can return to our Alexa app and enable Hue. We'll log in. Grant permission. Okay, now we're gonna return to our smart home menu select scenes and it's going to tell us to discover devices so we'll hit discover
All right, at that, it's now given us a collection of scenes to select as well as groups to pair it with. You see there? So now I can do Alexa, Savannah Sunset in Living Room. Alexa, set scene to Savannah Sunset in Living Room. Alexa, turn on Savannah Sunset in Living Room. Okay. And there you go, it's as simple as that. And I can do that with any group or pairing or anything like that that I'd like. Also, now that the skill is installed, I can easily change the colors of the bulbs with Alexa. Turn the living room lights green. Okay. So there you go. It's really just as simple as that. It's not something that comes standard. You have to have the skill activated, the Philips Hue skill. And that will require you to uh, do an account. It's a little bit tedious for what should be a pretty streamlined and automated process. But once you get going, it's, it's really easy and to integrate. If you're getting hung up on what to say or how to say it, simply bring back the menu. Go to Smart Home. And right here it says One Smart Home Skill Enabled. And find your skill and select it. And then right here at the top, it's going to give you a little slide bar of things to try. So that'll give you some verbiage to practice. It's really just as simple as that. You can have them turned on, off, and dimmed or brightened very quickly without doing much at all. But if you want to control the colors, you got to get the Philips Hue skill. And then from there, you can create groups and change the names of things, and it's a lot easier and get a lot more customized. It takes a handful of extra minutes, but I, I don't think it really just depends on how much control you want. It's a really great product, and we're at the end of May 2017. It's still uh, about halfway through 2017, and I think there's a lot of progress that has been made since its launch, and a, lot, a long ways to go still on making this more streamlined. But so far, I've had a great experience with it, and it didn't really take a lot of time or effort to get going. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to connect Hue to Alexa in 2017. Please leave a comment if you have any suggestions or questions or anything you'd like me to cover in particular. If you want to see more advanced features of smart home devices and setups and installs, unboxings, etc., please do subscribe. Thanks very much for watching. I appreciate your time, and I'll see you in the next video.